What's going on, Gum Family? Urban Gum Reviews, and today on the channel, I'm gonna be giving my unboxing and first impressions of the Glock 44. Let's see what this is about. Now, I uh, recently got this, I just got it today actually, and uh, I went to my local gun shop, which is a shop that I like to support, Justin's Gun Shop here in Washington, uh, PA, and I paid 369 bucks for it. So really not bad, um, and I, I was eyeing it up for a little bit, and I decided to uh, make the purchase and to grab it, obviously. But um, it's this chamber and 22 caliber, it uh, comes with two 10 round magazines. It comes with extra back straps. Um, it comes with the standard Glock uh, trigger lock that they uh, send with it or chamber lock, whatever you want to call it. And it comes with a cleaning rod and a brush. Now, uh, before I start digging into what I like and what I don't like and stuff like that, let's get into some specifics about this particular gun. Now, this gun is made from, um, it's a hybrid of steel and polymer. And, uh, you know, so, like, the, the frame is polymer and the slide is a hybrid, like they said, of steel and polymer. Um, it comes with load assist mags. And if you don't know what that is, that's these mags right here. And they have the tabs you know, to help you assist. So load them up, 10 round mags. You see that 22LR stands for long rifle. And it comes with two of these. See it has front and rear cocking serrations. It has adjustable uh, rear sights. It has a Glock Marksman barrel and we'll take it apart, you know what I mean, and check that out in a minute. It has an ambidextrous uh, slab stop lever. So you got it on that side. And on that side, you also have a reversible mag release option. So if you're, you know, left-handed, you can switch it to that side. It's already set for a right-handed uh, configuration. It comes with the interchangeable back strap. So uh, out the box, it comes without a back strap on. But say you thought this uh, that the grip was a little too small for you, and you needed, you know, a little bit more of a purchase for it. All you do is pop this pin out right here, and then there's a, a longer one that comes uh, right in here, and you would use uh, either the large or the medium or large or small, something like that, beaver tail, or you can just use the back strap without the beaver tail. That's completely up to your option, uh, to how you feel and how comfortable or you know you want it to be. It also comes with the safe action trigger, so you see this trigger blade right here, so the trigger cannot be pressed without uh, actually pushing on this trigger blade right here. So if you pushed it to the side, you know what I mean, you, you're not pressing that trigger blade, you cannot press the trigger. You have to engage the trigger blade in order to make the gun fire. Now we're gonna go over some uh, specs as far as the size goes with the Glock 44, and you might notice that it's quite similar to another Glock, which is the Glock 19. This is the exact same size as the Glock 19. So uh, this makes this gun uh, really good for beginner shooters before you know they graduate up to a Glock 19. So the specs on this is it is a 7.2 inches in overall length. It is 6.85 inches in uh, barrel length. It has a 6.85 slide length. It has a 1.26 inches uh, overall width. It has a one inch slide width. It also is 5.04 inches in overall height. Now the weight without the mag is 12.63 ounces. The weight with an empty mag is 14.64 ounces and the weight with a loaded mag is 16.40 ounces. All right, so why did I get the Glock 44? And um, 
This is the first and only 22 long rifle pistol that I own or that I've ever bought. And um, I had this and there was another one that I wanted to get that I was curious about, which was the Taurus uh, TX-22, I believe it is. I was curious about both of those. I really like Glocks. I don't own the Taurus, but I've, I've for years have been kind of eyeing uh, the G2C, um, now the G3 or G3C, G3, one of those. You know what I mean? So I've been in the market for a Taurus, you know what I mean? Because they're pretty cheap and uh, reliability, I heard they're, they're great. You know what I mean? So why did I go with Glock? Well, for one, the gun shop that I told you about, they didn't have in the Taurus. Now, I could have went to another shop, but like I said, I like to support this shop. So I specifically went there to get the Glock 44 because I knew he had it. Um, I like the Glock 44 size, being that it's the same exact size as the Glock 19. Now, I don't have my Glock 19 on me right now, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's the same, like, feel to this as it is with the Glock 19. Only difference is, is you're going to notice a difference with the weight, you know what I mean, obviously, because this is just a lot lighter. Like, this gun feels like it's nothing, you know what I mean? When the first time I ever picked it up, I was like... Like, what is this? Like, he was like, yo, you got to hold this. You know what I mean? And I held it and I was like, yo, this is crazy. Like, it really is it's super light. Um, as far as why I really got it, I got it because uh, of a similarity with the Glock 19. Like I said, I don't plan on ever carrying this as a carry pistol. You know what I mean? It's just not uh, the caliber that I would like to carry. So I would never carry this as a carry pistol unless I necessarily had to. So if I had no other weapon or no other firearm and I just want, I had to have something to carry, then of course I would carry it. Uh, of course, this fits the Glock 19 holsters, being that it's the same frame size and everything. Um, so it should and will fit your Glock 19 holsters. When I do my full review, um, after I take it to the range and you know break it down and see everything in it and if I like it and all that stuff, then I will uh, show you how it actually fits the holsters as well. Um, another thing that I liked uh, about this was that it, uh, the ammo is cheap. You know, 22 long rifle ammo is definitely uh, one of the cheapest that you can buy. I got um, a pack, I think, of Federal 500 rounds for maybe 30 bucks. And then I got some uh, Remington Golden something. For, it was like 500 rounds, and that was like $24. You know what I mean? So uh, the rounds is definitely going to be cheaper. Um, the one thing that, like I say, I try to tell you guys this all the time, is when I buy a new gun, I don't just sporadically go on and end up with this gun. I usually, I always do my research, and um, I kind of like, troubled guns, I guess you could say, you know what I mean, because the SIG P365 was labeled as a troubled gun at one time, you know what I mean, now the Hellcat, you know what I mean, some people saying that there's issues with it, I did a video on that, I'll put that up in the corner about the trigger uh, issues, um, not saying that, you know, whatever, but, um, and the Glock 44 is no different, a lot of videos, you know, had feeding uh, issues, it was very particular about the round that it actually uh, shot as far as grain goes, you know what I mean? So they were saying that you can't use a lighter grain like under a 40 or under a 38 grain. So I think the ammo that I got was 38 or 40 grain, both of those, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm definitely going to use those. And another thing that I seen was a lot of people had problems when they took it straight out the box and took it to the range and shot it, or took it wherever they took it and shot it. Straight out the box, it had issues. I don't know if it's um, whatever oil or lube or it was not enough. I don't know what the issue was, but people that I know personally, um, I talked to them about it who actually have this gun, and I you know, asked them, did you lube it before you took it out? And they were like, yes, you know what I mean? I cleaned it, I lubed it before I took it out. I had no issues with it, regardless of what grain he was shooting. I think he was shooting a 36. And um, that's my man Guns Co. on Instagram. Check him out. And I think that's what, you know what I mean, he was shooting. He said he had no problems with it. He loved shooting it. So that's another reason that I got it. Like I said, it's kind of labeled as a problem gun. A lot of people saying stay away from it. A lot of people saying go with the Taurus. A lot of people saying go with, you know, whatever else other 22 uh, gun that you want to have. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm a Glock guy. 
um, it looks like a full size, uh, you know, 19. So I like it, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's good for me. Another reason that I got this was because my 12-year-old, uh, about to be 13-year-old son is into shooting. He likes that stuff. You know what I mean? He always wants to go with me to the range or whenever I go shooting. So I promised him I would take him. So I didn't want to just throw him out to the wolves and say, hey, shoot this. You know what I mean? So I figured this would be a close enough replica of the Glock 19, which he could shoot. You know what I mean? So I figured I would get this. And as far as practicing with it, it would give you that feel. Now, it's not going to give you the same recoil. It's not going to give you, you know, all of that. But... You know, you'll get some type of familiarity. I probably butchered that. Give you some type of familiarity with uh, this firearm and that type of, you know, I mean, the size and everything like that. Like I said, the round's different, so you're not going to get that feel. But, you know, I mean, as far as, like, just shooting in general, you know what I mean? Like, just, you know, because you can be very apprehensive with shooting if you're not used to it. You know, it could be scary for a new shooter. So um, I figured this would be a good training gun for him. You know what I mean? And it's cheap, you know, ammo wise. Um, so it's not that big a deal. Um, and really for a Glock, you know what I mean? 369 wasn't bad. Um, I would like to see it drop a little bit more, maybe 320, you know, 300. You know, you, you might not get that, but I would like to see it drop a little more. I wasn't mad with the 369. Um, or 379, 369, I think it was. I wasn't mad with that price at all, you know what I mean? Obviously, so I was willing to go get it. Um, but all in all, I like it. It has the typical, um, you know, Glock U dot sights, you know what I mean? So you got the U notch in the back with the white dot up front, you know, nothing different than what you're used to. Um, it breaks down the same way that a normal Glock breaks down. So you want to make sure that trigger's pulled. You go and get you a nice little grab on it. Pull it back just a little bit. Pull down on them takedown tabs. Slides right off. You see, if you're used to Glocks, you know it has that, uh, you know, same Glock look to it. Um, if you looked at the uh, texture on the grip, same... Uh, I don't want to call them pyramids. I don't know the exact thing for them. They might be pyramids. That might be what they consider them. But the same texture, the same feel as you would get on like a Gen 5 uh, Glock. So that same uh, feel you're going to get. Uh, when it comes to the slide, basically the same. You know what I mean? You pop out your recoil spring. You got that right there. Now your barrel is going to be your difference right there. So you got this small uh, 22 barrel you know what i mean so it's not uh you know it's not that that bad you know not that that much different from anything else but a lot of people were mad because glock didn't include a threaded barrel but i think that they actually have one on the market or there's an aftermarket one that you could buy i haven't actually looked into it but i have heard a few uh different youtubers talk about it um but i'm definitely going to clean this um, I'm gonna put my own lube in there, you know what I mean, check it out, I'm gonna put my own stuff in there, clean it out, lube it up, and, uh, head to the range like that. Um, I usually keep, I usually just stick with, you know, whatever the factory, uh, lube and stuff that they use, but being that I know that this gun, I've seen it in videos, had a lot of problems with it, then I'm just going to lube it up, you know what I mean, because I don't want to be at the range, I have to break it apart and take it down and, and have to lube it while I'm at the range. So, you know what I mean, I got the gun cleaners, uh, solvent, and the lube, you know what I mean, so I'm going to uh, hit it up in there, clean it up, clean it out, lube it up, and then I'm going to take it to the range, and then we're going to see what it's about. The reassembly process is the same, you put your barrel back in, slide your uh your guy rod back in take your frame connect it it's weird doing it from behind the camera so you connect it like that get it where it's uh lined up lock it back lock the slide back and you're good to go get a couple you know what i mean so you know everything still works so i'm gonna take this out to the range after i clean it and check it out and all that uh, I might just take it by myself the first time. I might take my son with me. Uh, he's really been itching to go, so hopefully, you know, we can get to the range and, you know what I mean, have some daddy and son time and, you know, have a good time shooting. Um, but 
If you got any comments or questions about the Glock 44, if you like it, dislike it, if you think it was a good buy, a bad purchase, however you feel, uh, put it in the comment section. Let me know. Um, if you have a Glock 44 and you like it or dislike it, let me know. But it's Urban Gun Reviews. If this video helped you in any way, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that easily by clicking on the AR-15 in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. If you're not following me on all my social media sites, then you can do that by going in the description and clicking all of those links. If you're not following me on GunStreamer.com, the link is in the description also. And as always, stay blessed, stay strapped.